Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a few new strong picks in this patch with the changes to Death's Dance. Now, Death's Dance in this patch, it got buffed to where it now gives you 10 extra AD, and the damage deferred on the item went from 15% up to 30%, and that was for no cost increase at all. So they basically gave the item like free stats in this patch, and it is making a few different champions quite a lot stronger now with this item. So in this video, we're going to be going over the champions that you should be looking to pick this item up on and at what point in the game you should be looking to buy it. So with that being said, let's get started. So the most notable role or the role that has the most champions that you should be picking this item up on is in the top lane. So we're going to go over that role first. And then after that, we'll go over the jungle as well as the AD carry role. So in the top lane right now, the champions that are benefiting from these changes are Wukong, Pantheon, Xinjiao, Yasuo, Trinomir, Fiora, Riven, Aatrox, Alawi, Rengar, and Renekton. Now we're going to go over at what point in the game you should should be picking up this item on these champions. So for Wukong right now, as your third item, it seems to be what's doing best for him in this patch. You still want to be getting the Black Cleaver on Wukong as well as Yomu's earlier on into the game. Those items are just very, very strong on him. So the Death Dance Rush on Wukong isn't as good as it is on other champions, but the Death Dance really starts to kick in for Wukong if you do get it as your third item, because it's going to be healing you for 50 15% of any AD damage dealt. And once you do have your Yomus and your Black Cleaver, your ultimate is going to be doing a load of damage in those team fights, and you're going to be getting a lot more benefit from the Death Dance once you have other AD items as well. So as your third item as Wukong in this patch, either look to pick up the Death Dance or the Guardian Angel, depending on the situation. Now for Pantheon, he's very similar to Wukong. The Yomus and Black Cleaver as your two core items are standard on Pantheon. Pantheon, and then Death Dance as your third item is doing great on him in this patch right now. Now it does depend on the situation, like I was saying for Wukong though, if you're really snowballing and you're just looking to team fight to end the game, then Guardian Angel third item is doing well on Pantheon and Wukong as well. But if you're still looking to split push and you're still looking to 1v1, then the Death Dance is going to give you a really good 1v1 and it's just going to allow you to duel very effectively as Pantheon. Now surprisingly, Xin Zhao top lane with a Death Dance Rush is what is the best build for him or the best rush item for him in this patch right now. I think with the combined healing from your W as well as the healing you get from the Death Dance is just really good for Xin Zhao. Of course, you do want to be getting some attack speed somewhere in your build as Xin Zhao, but you do get the attack speed uh, passively like from your W whenever that's active. So you don't necessarily need to go for an attack speed item rush and I think that's why you can go for this Death Dance Rush on Xin Zhao, and it can still be very effective even though you're not building up any attack speed items. And then not only is it strong because you do get passive attack speed from your W, it's also really good because you're going to be healing quite a bit from your Q damage as Xin Zhao. Whenever your Q is active, it enhances your auto attacks, and therefore you do heal for a percent of the damage you deal. You heal for 15% of the damage dealt to champions, and therefore when your Q is active, it's going to be dealing a load of damage, and therefore it's going to be very, very easy for you to win duels and sustain as Xin Zhao. For Yasuo right now, it is a pretty good third item as well on him. You still want to get your core crit items on Yasuo, being the Phantom Dancer and the Infinity Edge. And if you are still looking to split push on him, then a Death Dance third item is doing great for him right now in this patch. Now for Trindamir, it's actually doing really good on him as well. You still do want to build up that crit though on Trindamir first so that you do have that attack speed. If you go for a Death Dance Rush on Trindamir, you're really not going to be having much attack speed at all and you're not going to be benefiting too much from rushing that item. So as your third or fourth item on Trindamir, once you start to get that crit and once your autos start dealing a lot of damage, then the healing you get from the Death Dance is going to be super good. So look to pick this up as like your third or fourth item on Trindamir. 
Now I think Fiora in this patch with like a Death Dance, a Ravenous Hydra, as well as a Bloodthirster is just pretty much unkillable. Your Death Dance is usually best as like a third or fourth item on Fiora. You still want to get the Ravenous Hydra usually early on as well as the Black Cleaver. And then depending on the situation, you can get the Death Dance, you can get a GA. You can also look to get a Bloodthirster in your build. And your split push with Fiora now in this patch is just even stronger due to the Death Dance change. Now for Riven in this patch, this is actually doing best as a rush item on her. I think the reason to why this is pretty good early on on Riven is because technically you do have five abilities that you can use to proc the death dance. You've got your three Qs that you can use, you also have your W, and then you do have your ultimate too, which will all give you healing from the death dance. So you're all in and your dueling potential in the early game with this item is actually really strong. Now for Aatrox right now in this patch, the Death Dance later on into the game is best on him. You still want to build up a little bit of attack speed on Aatrox because a lot, of, a lot of his damage does come from his auto attacks and having his ultimate active and just smacking away at the enemy. So you still want to build up like a Blade of the Ruin King pretty early on uh, so that you can have more attack speed in your duels. But once you get the Death Dance as like your third or fourth item on Aatrox, you're pretty much unkillable in duels. You have the healing from your W as well as increased healing from the death dance so you're just a very strong dueling champion once you do pick this item up. Now, Alawi is a champion in this patch that is actually one of the best with the Death Dance. The amount of healing that you can get out with Alawi now by going this item is just insanely good. When you do have like your ultimate up in a team fight, if you can get like a few tentacles to proc off on the enemies, then you're gonna heal for just so much damage in team fights. I think that if you can play pretty good Alawi in this patch right now, then if you do pick up the Death Dance as your third item on her, then you're gonna do great in seven. 7.9. And then for top lane Rengar, the Death Dance Rush is what he's performing best with in 7.9. The reason that you can go for this rush on Rengar is because he's another champion that doesn't really rely on attack speed or his auto attacks to deal the most of his damage. Your core damage as Rengar comes from your Q and your empowered Qs, and therefore with your empowered Q in the early game, that's going to be healing you for a lot because you're healing for 15% of your damage dealt. If you get a double Q, off on the opponent then you're just gonna heal for so much and that's why you can go for this as a rush item on top lane Rengar. And then for Renekton, what's performing best on him is Death Dance as like your third or fourth item. It's not really doing as well as a rush item on Renekton. The Black Cleaver and the Ravenous Hydra are still doing well as like your two core items on him. And then a Death Dance as like your third item, if you're gonna want to play this like assassin type Renekton top lane, is what you're gonna want to do in 7.9. Now, if we take a look at the jungle in this patch, there's only a few champions that are really benefiting from these changes, and those champions are Kindred, Kha'Zix, and Graves. So for Kindred, this is a really good third item on her. Once you do get Bloodraiser and Runons, the Death Dance as your third item just synergizes great with the Runons, as well as the low cooldown you have with your Kindred Q. So you are gonna be getting the healing like from the bolts from the Runons, and you're also gonna be getting healing whenever you use your Q. Your Q is on a very short cooldown as Kindred, especially when your W is up. So if you're jumping around dueling and you're getting your Q off every few seconds, as well as your auto attacks, you're going to be healing for quite a bit with Kindred. Now for Kha'Zix right now, he's got a very unique build that is performing very well on him in this patch. This build consists of Warrior into a second item Guardian Angel, and then Death Dance as your third item. I think the reason to why you can go this new build in this patch on Kha'Zix is because number one, Death Dance did get buffed, and then number two, the Black Cleaver did get nerfed. I don't really think Black Cleaver is that strong on Kha'Zix in this patch, or really on Kha'Zix in general, because I think he's more of a burst assassin type jungler, obviously, and therefore you're not really going to be getting a whole lot of auto attacks off with the champion. If you are getting a lot of auto attacks off as Kha'Zix, then you're probably pretty far behind. You want to be looking to jump in as him, cue the opponent, auto him once, and then just basically assassinate him, so you're not really going to be stacking the Black Cleaver, and therefore, since it did get nerfed now, I don't think it's that great of an item. Because Death Dance did get buffed, I think that build on him 
him or that item on him is just a lot stronger in this patch and because once you do get a few items as well on Kha'Zix your Q is going to do a load of damage so you're going to be healing a lot from that death stance and if you do end up getting the guardian angel too this build just pretty much pretty much makes you unkillable and just very hard to kill with the armor you get and the stasis or the revive you get from the GA as well as the healing from the death stance. And then for Graves as a third item, it is what is performing best as well. Now the Black Cleaver on Graves is still doing pretty good on him in this patch. The reason to why it would do better on Graves still as opposed to on Kha'Zix is because you're actually going to be auto attacking a lot of the time with Graves to deal your damage and therefore you will be getting those stacks or the armor shred stacks off on the opponent and you will be able to use it still more effectively than Kha'Zix can use it. So it's still a pretty good second item on him and then getting the death stand as your third item on Graves is what's doing best on him in 7.9. And then lastly here, to round out this video, the AD carry champions that are benefiting the most from these changes in this patch are Draven, Lucian, Misfortune, and Zaya. So for Lucian and Draven, this is best as a rush item on them. It's actually really, really good on Draven right now. It's not performing super well on Lucian. The Blade of the Rune King is still doing the best as a rush item on him as of right now, but some people are trying out the Death Dance like as a rush item on both of these champions, so... It's definitely not bad. It's best on Draven. Bork is still a little bit better on Lucian though. And then for Misfortune and for Zaya, this is better later on into the game as them. It's really good as like a fourth item on Misfortune because once you do have your core items on her and once you have a lot of AD built up, your ultimate in those team fights is just going to heal you for an insane amount. If you get like a three or four man ultimate off and you do like over 2000 damage to pretty much every target, then you're going to heal for a load in team fight so it's a great item later on on misfortune and it's also a pretty good item later on on zaya as well because you can do a load of damage like with your feathers when you use your e to bring them back in it can do like a load of burst damage which will heal you for a lot so that is going to be all for this video guys i'm pretty sure i covered every single champion that is going to be benefiting from these death dance changes if you do think i missed a certain champion though then be sure to let me know down in the comments below Hopefully this video did help you out and hopefully you do know which champions you should be building this item on now and at what point in the game you should be building it. But with that being said guys, thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.